Welcome back, fifth graders. I hope you had fun and learned a lot about the big six. Now, we are going to review each step in the big six. But first, let me remind you again what the big six is. It's an information problem solving process that helps you find, use, apply, and evaluate information for specific needs and tasks. The reason that this process is important to use when we are doing research is because there's just too much information out there and it can become overwhelming. Now, if you follow each step in the big six process, it can help you work smarter, not harder. Now, isn't that exciting? So let's examine those six steps. Each step has two sub-steps. Step one, task definition. Define the information problem and identify the information needed. Ask yourself the following questions. What does my teacher expect me to do? What are the requirements of the assignment? Do I understand what I need to do? What are the questions I need to answer? What do I need to know about the topic? Make sure to have it all figured out before you get started. You can put the assignment into your own words and ask the teacher if you are correct. Don't be afraid to ask your teacher questions. Once you decide on your topic, put a list of questions together of what you need to find the answers to. Step two, information seeking strategies. Determine all possible sources and select the best sources. Ask, ask yourself, where can I start to look for information? Who can I talk to to get information? What are the best sources to use? Make a list of all possible sources that you think would be the most helpful and select the best ones. And if you don't know, you can ask me, your librarian, for assistance. Choose from nonfiction, news articles, reference books, web pages, databases, ebooks, and multimedia encyclopedias. Remember, this is all just planning, no actual research yet. Step three, location and access. Locate sources digitally and physically and find information within those sources. Ask yourself, where can I find what I need? Where is each source? Where is the information in each source? Locate sources and find information within the text. Consult the library catalog, library reference section, and search engines. You can use a graphic organizer to map out your topic and subtopics. Step four, use of information. Engage with the sources and extract relevant information. This is finally the moment that you have been waiting for, the actual researching. Ask yourself, will the information answer the questions I have? Is the information reliable? Interact with your source by reading it, hearing it, viewing it, touching it, and extracting the most valuable information. Use skimming and scanning to find information that addresses your topic. You can look for keywords, pictures, headlines, diagrams, maps, and tables. Take, note, take notes by summarizing, paraphrasing, or quoting, and don't forget to cite your sources. Step five, synthesis. Organize from multiple sources and present the information. You can ask yourself, how do I fit all the information together? Choose the format to present your project and organize your research notes according to how you will share the information. You can begin by writing an outline. Present the information effectively by practicing and knowing your audience. You should also have a second pair of eyes view your project for feedback. Step six, evaluation. Judge the product for effectiveness and judge the process for efficiency. Ask yourself, did I solve the problem? Did I write the project in a format that it will be understood? Did I complete all parts of my assignment? Did I meet all the requir requirements on the rubric? Am I proud of my work? What should I do differently and how can I do things better next time? Each assignment and research project that you do will allow you to improve your own research process so that next time it's an even easier process for you. So there you have it, all six steps in the big six researching process. Now, remember that I also created a handout that summarizes each step in the big six process. The handout also includes five extra resources that provide more information on the big six research process. This is a very helpful handout that you can use at any time. Also, your teacher and I are here to help you as well. We want to see you succeed. Keep in mind that the big six is a process that will help you research smarter, 
not harder. And I can't wait to see you all using it in the library. See you soon.